On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. Welcome to the biggest on drop rate video I will probably ever do in the entire series. In this one, we are going to be killing Mithril Dragons, and we are going to be killing 8192 of them for the Dragon Fall Helm. Combining the drop rate of the Chewed Bones themselves, the chances of getting the Dragon Fall Helm from the Chewed Bones, and also the normal drop rate of the Dragon Fall Helm from the Mithril Dragon itself, I have calculated with my Discord the exact amount of kills you need to do to theoretically from either the Chewed Bones or the kills themselves get a Dragon Fall Helm, and the math will be in the description because I am not a mathematical person, and if you are good at math, you can probably understand it from that. So if you want to see the math behind it, why it's exactly 8,192 kills, you can go ahead and do that. This is such a long grind that it is very likely you will see me change or even upgrade gear over time. For example, I am using Bandos right now, but in the future of this video, I might be even having Torva because of how long this grind is. But the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to do a one hour test and see how many kills I can get an hour so we can get a rough estimate of how long this grind is actually going to take. Now you might be wondering, why am I using the Osmomton's Fang versus Dragons when there is a Dragon Hunter Lance? Well, we ran some DPS calculations and the Osmomton's Fang is so accurate as you can see that it is actually better DPS by quite a good amount on Mithril Dragon. So as you can see, the kills are not that bad with the Fang and that is why I'm going to be using it. Hopefully I don't die here, it seems like I'm going to be fine. This is the last kill of the first trip, and this is kill number 12. I definitely don't need two Divine Super Combat Potions, so I'm going to be banking one of them. Changing up my inventory slightly, maybe I can get like 13 kills per trip, which is not that bad. Hey, there is the first Chewed Bone of the Grind. I'm going to probably have to get a lot of these, but it's nice to see the first one. Also a Collection Log slot. So the way I'm going to be doing it is every 10 chewed bones I get, I will use them on the pyres and see if I can actually get the Dragon Fall Helm. It is a 1 in 256 to get it from the pyres, but I'm not going to be getting up to 256 chewed bones as we're counting in both the kills and the chewed bones as the drop rates. But I think every 10 chewed bones should be fine to go with. Kinda missed it, but I did get an ancient page, and they are actually a collection log item. You can see that in the chat, I did get one, and it's 1 in 64 from Mithril Dragons, and I don't know how many there are. I think there's a lot of them, though, so I will probably get a good amount of collection log items from that. So yeah, here they are, 1 in 26 collection log slots. That is a lot of collection log slots that you can get from just doing this grind. It is completely RNG which one you get. They're all just called Ancient Page, but they do have different IDs and they all drop from the same monsters. So it's going to be interesting to see how many I get during this grind. 1 in 64 from the Mithril Dragons. So we're coming to the end of the first hour and this is what I got. I got 78 kills in this hour and 5 chewed bones, which is definitely above the drop rate by quite a lot so that is very nice to see by the way if i keep getting 78 kills an hour which means i'm going to do this at high efficiency all the time which is unlikely this would still take 105 hours to complete to compare that with any other grind i've done before vorkath with 1000 kills took 55 hours Oh, that beam actually kind of scared me. Elite clue scroll though, that is not that bad. It is uh, 1 in 350, but because I'm going to be killing so many of them, I will probably see a few of them. Oh my god, what am I doing? I was hard AFKing and then I came back and I just, I didn't know what to do, I just died. <laughs> I felt like 10 was a bit too little for how many I probably have to do, so that is actually chewed bone number 20, and that is how many I'm going to be doing every single time. So I will use all of these 20 and then go back if I don't get the Dragon Fall Helm and get another 20. 
Because you also need logs for this, I am bringing 10 chewed bones at a time. So let's go ahead and construct some pyres. And hopefully, if we get the dragon forehem this early, that would save a lot of time. The loot from the first pyre is going to be... What is this? Super attack mix 2. And as you can see in the chat, it says I have one laid to rest. So this will track all of them for me. Well, no dragon for him so far, and we're down to the last chewed bone of the first round of 10. And the last one gave me, I don't even know what it gave me, like Adam and Dars or something, I guess. But let's get another 10. Anyway, with the last 10, hopefully we can get something nice from this. But the regular loot that you get from this is very bad, as you can see. This item, for example, is worth 136 GP. And we are down to the actual last chewed bone that I've collected so far, number 20. What can we get from this one? Hopefully not a defense mix or something like that. Can we get something? I actually got something a bit better too. Rain or potions, which is like 15k. And we got anti-poison super mix too. How much is that worth? That is worth 255. So that, that is a bit better than the other one. I knew this would happen. 36,000 GP for a dragon spear. I even looked up before doing this grind what items would be terrible to see, and that is one of them. It is more rare than the dragon full helm. This spear is 1 in 36,000 drop rates, which is like 1 in 3,000 more rare than the dragon full helm. So that was definitely a missed roll. We are now a decent bit into this grind, and that is the number 40th chewed bone. And we're going to go back to the pyres and do another 20, and maybe this time we will get really lucky. On average, by the way, I'm pretty sure it's around 10 hours to get 20 of these bones, so every half hour I do get one of them. So this is now round 2 of 20 bones. Can we get absolutely spooned? First thing is a super strength mix 1, which is worth... 34 GP! And the last bone of the first 10 of this round is going to be... What are we going to get? Super defense mix. By the way, I do want to mention my collection log for the notes is looking quite decent at this point. I have got 12 out of 26 of them. I didn't want to show all of them because you get them fairly frequently. And sometimes you get a lot of dupes of them. But we have actually got 12 unique ones, which is pretty nice. And here we have the last chewed bone. What are we going to get this time? Rune... Well, actually, Adam and Knives, not even Rune ones. There we are. 40 completed so far. But let's get back into Mithril Dragons again and get another 20 in 10 hours, hopefully. You know, after doing this for roughly 30 hours at this point, I would say that this is definitely more tedious and boring than you might expect. It is pretty AFK luckily with my gear, and if I had Torva, it would be even more AFK with the more defensive stats. But it definitely is a very slow grind, but I knew what I was getting into, and uh, this is only the beginning. Oh, she left half... Number one of the grind. It is a one in, I think, 27,000. So not as bad as the spear. So I went ahead and went a bit crazy. The plan was to get 20 more chewed bones, but uh, I spent an entire 16 hours today just killing mithril dragons. I went a bit ham and went all the way from 1,448 KC to this, what you're seeing on the screen right now, 2,600 KC. And we got 28 new chewed bones to go for. So let's see. Is this going to be it for the Dragon Hall Full Helm or no? I think this time I'm going to be using this side instead of that one. Maybe this one is cursed. So let's go ahead and start with the first 10 bones. We are going to do this in three inventories. 10, 10 and then 8. And let's actually record the first one here of the pile that we have. And it is... Adam and Dodge poisoned. 41, we're going to be ending at, what is it, 68, of course. And we're about to be done with the first inventory of four, a fishing mix, two for the last one, 50 KC overall, but nothing that time. And that is 60 KC done, second inventory done. Imagine spending 15 hours killing Mithril Dragons, and uh, the reward that you get is this right here, 11.88k from one inventory of 10 bones, but uh, we still have eight more to go. Maybe these are the lucky ones. I have to say, it is not looking good. This is the last bone. And what are we going to get? We got some blood runes. Well, that is that for today. I guess I'm going to bed and go again tomorrow.
You know, I do have to say, one of the really nice things of this grind is that I am not using any degradable gear. I'm not using a scythe, I'm not using any barrows gear, I'm not using a blood amulet of fury. So every single time I go to a bank, I don't have to care about anything gear related. I can just get the potions, get the food and teleport right back. You know, most high tier PVMers have like really organized banks. I don't really. This is my gear tab. It's just <laughs> a mess of everything. At least I put the mithril dragon gear right here so I can just take all of this out. And then when it comes to restocking on potions, I do this. And then I take these out, five of that, one of that. And I am pretty much good to go after drinking the pool of refreshment. This is a very special mithril dragon kill right here. This one marks the halfway point for the drop rate of the dragon full ham and we have not seen it yet but we do actually have a good amount of chewed bones in the bank that we're going to be using right now 29 chewed bones is what we have and that is like what a 14 percent maybe 13 percent chance of actually getting the dragon full helm first inventory of bones and the last one is going to be nothing second inventory what is the last one going to be and we get some blood runes it is what it is we are actually getting really close to 100 chewed bones overall use this is going to be 97 and the last one for the 29 that i had in the bank and this of course marks exactly the halfway point for the grind and we get a super strength mix one not the best thing to get for the last one, but uh, another thing I do want to mention is that on the notes, I have actually 23 out of 26. So if I get just three more unique notes, I've completed another collection log. Oh my god. I just realized how much experience this grind has given me so far. I started this strength counter on 2.5 million experience, and I'm at 7.2 million experience almost. That means almost 4.5 million strength experience. That means, as I'm roughly halfway done, this entire grind is a 9 million strength experience. That is pretty insane. It has been another, I would say, like 12, maybe 13 hours of killing Mithril Dragons since the last clip, and we are actually about to hit another massive milestone, 5,000 Mithril Dragons. And I do actually want to talk about one additional thing that I've never really mentioned during this grind. There is a 1 in 10,000 drop rates of getting a Draconic Visage from these, which would be such an incredible item to get. And why is this dragon taking literally 10 years to actually kill? just when i need it by the way it's ten and a half thousand gp per kill i just saw that kind of an interesting stat but anyways this marks the 5000 kill mark and we're going to go all the way to 6000 before using any more chewed bones so quite a lot left but uh yeah, hopefully we can get either the dragon fall helm or it would be really cool to actually get a draconic visage as well Oh my god, dude, what? I was playing another game and I just heard the message and I didn't even know I didn't have the recorder on. No way, we got the Draconic Visage! Uh, dude, I, wait, didn't I just record a clip, the last one, when I was talking about it? This is actually quite a lot later than that. I think like 800 kills after that. Oh my god. I, dude, there is no words for this. This is such a hard collection of item to get and we have it. We just need a dragon full ham now. I honestly still can't believe we got the visage, but this kill right here, 150 kills after getting the visage, that is now 6,000 mithril dragons done. Look at that. That looks so clean on the loot tracker. And I'm honestly not sure how many chewed bones we have, but it is time to open a bunch of them again. Besides the beautiful Draconic Visage, we now have 45 Chewed Bones. That is by far the most I've done in one go. So hopefully we can get lucky and get the Dragon Fall Helm. It would be so nice to get both the Visage and the Dragon Fall Helm. And for number 100 overall Chewed Bone, we get Antifire Mix. Not quite a Dragon Fall Helm, but we will keep going. Last bone of the first inventory is going to be some more Death Runes, but we still have a good amount of bones left. So we're now up to 122 after this 123, and what is the last bone of the second inventory going to be? Honestly, I didn't even see what we got, but uh, can't be anything good. I'm going to try the other side for the last bone of this inventory. We do have six overall chewed bones left after this one. Are we going to get lucky on this side instead? And oh my, oh, no way. What? 
Oh my god, we actually got the Dragon 4 helm on the last pyre of this inventory. Oh, look at that helmet, dude. I, this is like the biggest nerd freakout ever, dude. I have been here for so long, like 70 plus hours. Oh my god, you guys have no idea. It's like a weight lift off my shoulders. 58 million GP. Just look at the clan. Everyone is freaking out. Holy, we got both the Visage and the Dragon 4 Helm. No way. Just look in my clan. I got the Dragon 4 Helm. And then right after that, Korea gets the pet from Soul Wars. That is two insanely rare items to get almost back to back of two people. All right, let's have a look. Are we going to get a second dragon for him in these six last bones? Of course, I do have to use them. Let's pray. Imagine if I would get a second one. That would be just insane. And that is all the bones used. I did not get a second dragon for him. 142 chewed bones used. And we did win the challenge. And I do have to say, the dragon for him does not look too good. But it is worth a lot of money and the icon for it at least in the inventory is really cool and it is of course a very difficult item to get on the collection log and if we go all the way to collection log we go to other and then we go to miscellaneous i think it's right here look at that that is an insane slot to have covered the last thing we have to do is to open the 10 elite caskets that i managed to complete during this grind we have 51 overall completions and this right here is my log so let's go ahead i will probably get some masters from this as well dude what is happening in this video ranger's tunic on the first one i have to do this for the clan i think that's a message yeah it is dude oh my god this video's luck is actually insane and there we go that's the first masters i'm going to do all of these if i can very easy master to complete but let's go ahead and keep opening these elite caskets we have seven left to go and we have another master all right well that is just not really happening i think i need a five level rune crafting boost for that maybe i can do it bind the blood rune at the blood altar i do think that's 77 right so i technically could go for it it is kind of at the end of the master so i might try to get a stew for it yeah might as well all right are we going to get lucky let's see oh my god we got it on the first one that's actually i don't even know what the odds of that is but that is very very uh, rare to see that but uh, as you can see i actually have a kitten and i got all of these with a kitten so this took a while we did get the master completed so let's continue with the elite casket opening first one is collection log holy blessing not worth too much though second one not great either no master yet three more to go two more to go very average elites and the last one is going to be nothing as well just a bunch of planks now let's go ahead and open the two masters that we got the first one is going to be a very average master as well 316k and the second one oh my that's a lot of dragon weaponry and then a rune <laughs> it just looks so funny it's like every dragon weapon i guess not the long sword not the scimitar i don't know if you can get those I did not collect every single dragon bone, but I did get 4.3k of them, and this is all the loot that I got from 6,000 mithril dragons. The dragon bones is 10 million themselves, and then all of these items together is 106 million GP. What is that? Like 14k every single kill on average, and it's, it's so insane to see that we got both the dragon forehand and the visage. Definitely lucky there. Now, before we actually end the video, I do want to give an update on my notes. And you can see here, I am only missing one single note. So we got really close to completing it. And sometime in the future, I will probably just go and finish that off. But also on top of this, I of course got the Visage. If we click here on Slayer, it is unlocked right there. An incredibly hard one to get. And that is an unlock for multiple bosses. So also, I think on King Black Dragon, I now have the Visage. And maybe there is another one as well. I I honestly don't know. I think Vorkath, right? Yes, there is the Visage as well. So it is a super good unlock just for collection log in general, because it is, as I've said, a super hard item to get. But with that, that is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed this massive grind. If you did, please leave a like. It took me a very long time to make this video. Also, only I think 40% of the people watching my videos are actually subscribed. So if you do want to keep up with the series, make sure you do that. Click the bell as well if you want to be notified. And until next time, guys, take care.